Two package so in level two you get everything that level one has So here we go, he downs, Sue's going to tell him to watch, he goes into action, and then she's going to shut him off, and that's it, no more. Alright, and here, Sue turns him on into aggression. I'm making all sorts of moves. I left my little things dangling. It drives him crazy. And then Sue's going to tell him to out. Shut off the aggression. No more talking to me. No more lunging. And here I should be able to come in and pet him. Just like I'm going to do right now. And then I 
walk back out. He shouldn't react to me at all. Then here Sue turns him back on. Now you see there, he went right into engaging the leash on. He was going to take off. He held himself from taking off to try to attack me, just like he should, self-control. Here I'm trying to bait him again. A lot of movements, a lot of jumping around to make him really, really try to come off his game. But he's holding it terrific. And then here, Sue's going to shut him off again. But we have two additional skills that we put on our level two dogs. Okay, so the first one is a revere, which is a bark and hold. Which means we send the dog out on command in different scenarios, which I'll explain here to either hold the threat where it is, not to move any further, or we use it as a search scenario, okay? So the first one would be somebody's in plain sight, okay? And they're threatening. So we would just send the dog to not have them come any further to keep them where they are. So the dog will go out on command, 
go right to them without biting and threaten them, scare them, act very aggressively towards them, right, with a lot of barking, ferocity, <laughs> and keep that person where they are, scaring them, okay? That they need to cut this thread off and just leave the situation or else, okay? All right, so the second version is the version that most people want or are interested in when they purchase our dogs, okay? And that is the same skill, revere, the bark and hold, but in a search scenario. So when people come home, they would like to send the dog into the house you know, whether they're coming back from a walk or back from the store or they haven't been home for a bit on vacation and they want the house searched first just to make sure nobody's in there, okay? So on command, they'll send the dog into the house. The dog will search the house for an unfamiliar smell if they do locate somebody in the house, they will go to them, 
start threatening them the way they do in the first version. Scaring the person badly <laughs> to stay where they are, okay, in the house so that the owner can call 911 while staying safe outside the house to call 911, having everybody be safe, right? And being able to do this easily. And you can call 911, right, if the dog holds them there. If they try to hit the dog, escape, they are going to get bitten. Not gonna be good, pleasant. So trying to fight the dog or trying to weapon at them, fleeing, escaping is going to get you mauled, okay? So we're teaching the dogs to go in, hold somebody in place, Bark at them, threatening them not to move, scaring them, and allowing you at the same time to know that they found somebody. So you can call 911, okay? And you, don't, you do not have to enter the house and put your life at risk. That is the proper way to do the exercise, okay? The advantage to this scenario, obviously, is when the dog goes and finds somebody, they're going to start barking crazily, right? You know they found somebody. That is your cue, that somebody is in there, okay? And they're going to hold them there. So, since the person is not going to be able to escape that scenario, or get out of that spot where they are. This keeps the owner safe that the burglar, aggressor, doesn't start running through the house and try to get out the front door or whatever door you're coming in and run into you, right? On their way fleeing the house. So, that would be a bad situation, right? You could get hurt while they're trying to flee. So the dog is making sure that that person's going nowhere and you two will not meet. 
if you do meet, they're going to have a dog all over them that they're carrying, right? And they're going to be suffering so much with the dog attached to them that you're the least of their problems, <laughs> right? So the, the dog, ideally and most likely when these things happen, that person's not going to move from that spot. Most people aren't brave enough to try to move from that spot when a dog is really threatening them that badly. If they do move, the dog will automatically attack for trying to flee. So it, this command and skill comes in very handy for real life situations. It absolutely can be a lifesaver. Okay, and an absolute comfort for an owner. So this is definitely one of the most popular commands that we are asked to add to any package, right? This is almost like a, a mandatory must. So those are the two additional commands in the level two package.